Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Clouds here, back again with another Demon Fall video. And as y'all can tell by the title, we are doing a beginner's guide. And uh, this video may be long, and if it is, I will have timestamps down in the description below so you can find a specific thing you're looking for. But this is just going to be beginner stuff, no real advanced stuff. But I'm just going to be going over a lot of stuff you should know coming into the game. So, let's hop right into it, guys. Okay guys, so after you guys defeat the demon and you talk to your uncle, this is the first village you guys will actually run into. Um, I felt that I didn't need to mention that because it's actually the most straightforward thing in this game. However, pretty much after this and you talk to this lady right here, this is where the game starts becoming a little difficult. Uh, pretty much the main and uh, basically the first thing I'm going to be telling you guys is how to make money. Um, this is going to be like a brief explanation of it, but going around the island, you can see random trinkets such as this that spawn around and uh, it's best to learn the actual spawn points of these trinkets. They can spawn anywhere around the world, however, they do have specific spawn points, so it helps if you guys know where to look versus just like randomly looking in uh, different areas. But pretty much once you collect all these trinkets, uh, for example, in the first village, you go to this guy right here. You go to this guy right here, talk to him, and then he buys your trinkets. So as you can see right there, I made quite a bit of money off of my trinkets. And this is an easy way to make money. Um, there are some other ways. We will get to it right off the gate in the video. But one of the most important things starting out this game that you should prioritize is getting money. So I recommend you guys go out there and farm these trinkets to gain money because in order to get breeding styles, which will be something we will also cover locations, breeding styles and stuff later on in this video, you're going to need money for most of those. So I really recommend you prioritize early on finding a bit of trinkets, farming um, this village. This village is actually a really good village for trinkets actually um, they spawn quite frequently and they have a lot of different spawn points for trinkets including in some areas for example uh, the hotel actually has trinkets that can spawn in here as you guys can see in this room there is a trinket here so this village starting out is a really good place for this so that's the first uh, tip that I would say you guys need in this that is one way you can make money in this game so yeah, let's get into the next tip. Okay guys, so the next part I'm gonna tell you guys is how to get to the final selection. So after you talk to this lady right here, pretty much the next thing you have to do in the game is get to the final selection. So from the first village, if you guys will just follow me real quick, straight from the shop, if you just go straight down this way, I'm gonna get this trinket right here. As you guys can see, if you went straight down this way, you have this guy right here and you can talk to him and he lets you fast travel to any village. The village you want to go, it also costs 100 yens. However, you start off the game with 200. So starting out the game, you will have enough to use this right out the gate. But the village you need to go to is Okuya village. And then from there, I'll show you guys what to do. So from Okuya village, starting out, this is where you'll spawn right away. And you want to follow my exact direction. So you cut through here pass through this wisteria tree go down this tree right here you want to take a right down here and just go straight through here through this gate i'm going to speed this part up so you guys don't have to watch however it's not going to be sped up that fast you guys will still be able to follow along just fine so straight through this stock soccer passage I'm going to speed it up and you guys are going to see exactly where I go. Okay guys, and we have arrived to the final selection. All you have to do is talk to one of these two people right here. I can no longer do it because I'm a slayer. However, all the exam is, it costs nothing to get in. You can even go in at level one. 
all the exam is is you have to defeat 30 demons it teleports you into a forest and you have 45 minutes to defeat 30 demons it's pretty easy so long as you just take your time don't take any risks um and this also brings me into my next money method this isn't exactly the best uh money gathering method the trinket method is faster if you know the locations and where to find the trinkets however this is a good method to farm demon horns um demon horns are these right here and these are what's known as a demon part they sell for money and i'll show you guys where to sell them later on in the video um, basically a method you can use early on you can create an alt account to do this or you can do it on your main account defeat 29 demons and then on the 29th demon you either reset or let yourself be killed so you don't want to kill all 30 because then you'll become a slayer you kill 29 demons you'll be you'll get at least a lot of uh demon horns that way and then you can go sell the demon horns and you'll get a lot of money this is a pretty good farming method if you're new to the game you can create an alt to do this but yeah uh, i didn't want to put this at the first part because it just wouldn't really make sense but yeah that's how you get to the final selection guys we're going to show the breathing style locations next okay guys so we're back at the first village here and now we're going to go through one by one how to get every breathing style starting off with wind because it's the easiest pretty much just like before you go over here talk to this guy and go to okuya village and then from there i'll tell you guys what to do Okay, so now they're in Okuya Village. Pretty much the same thing as before. Follow me. Go through here. And to get the wind breathing, you talk to this guy. Now, what you need is just 20 demon horns. You don't need any money. You don't need nothing. Just 20 demon horns. You give it to him. After you've given that to him, he challenges you to a 1v1. And it's actually fairly easy. Um, he's not hard at all. And then all you have to do is just get him, hit him to a certain point where he says, okay, we're done. And then there you go. You pretty much get wind breathing wind breathing is actually really easy to get um so yeah that's the first how to get wind breathing okay guys so we are back in the village and now i'm gonna show you guys the directions to get mist breathing so just follow me i'm gonna speed this up a little bit but not that much so you guys can still get everything down so from here the motel you're gonna take a left and you're gonna go straight this way Once you guys see this road, you're gonna go from this road and you're gonna follow it like so. And then what you guys wanna do is you guys wanna jump up here. And then you wanna start going over here until you see this tree right over here. And right here, as you guys can see, I've made it to the Mist Trainer. Now for this, this one is also very easy to do. All you need for the Mist Trainer is you need 2000 gold, and then you just need to go through a maze. The maze is pretty straightforward. There are videos out there to show you how to do it very easily. And uh, as soon as you're done with the maze, you don't need to do anything else. You've got Mist, and honestly, Mist is pretty, a really good, breathing style so if you can get the 2k really easily i highly recommend you just go get missed it's super easy really recommend it so let's get into the next breathing style guys okay guys so now that we're back at the start of village we're going to show how to get to the water breathing trainer so straight from here in front of the shop just follow me and again i'm going to speed this up a little bit however uh, you guys will still be able to follow up i won't speed it up that much Okay, yeah, so once you reach here, pretty much you're just going to take a right and you're going to go straight into this forest. It's going to go from snowing to forest. And then once you reach this forest right here, uh, which is the coast forest, basically you just want to follow exactly where I'm going. And I will show you guys how to get to the trainer. So 
So, you guys, so as you guys kind of see, I kind of took a little bit of a detour because it's just an easy way to get up here, just jump in through this tree. But once you jump through that tree, here it is right here. This right here is arguably the hardest, actually not arguably, it is the hardest breathing style to get in the game. It costs 2K, however, you have to go through a very hard and difficult parkour obby. Um, some people say it's not difficult because that's, the, that's because they're good at obbies. After that, you have to break this boulder and this boulder has a lot of health, so you're probably gonna wanna go at this with an auto clicker. And then after that, that's it. You get water breathing. So it, this one is definitely the most difficult and the longest to go through. Uh, I've had friends that spent a lot of time trying to get this. But yeah, here's the location of that one. Okay, guys. So now we're going to show you guys how to get to the Thunder Breathing Teacher. Um, I don't remember all the requirements for this. I, I will edit it in the uh, video so you guys will see all the requirements you need to buy. But I do know you need to buy 20 soups from that soup shop back there. You need to also have 4,000 cash, and I think you need to deliver a letter. I'm not sure if that's completely correct, but you need to deliver a letter to the uh, Slayer Core HQ. So again, I will speed this up slightly, um, so it's just faster for you guys, but this is the actual way, and you guys can just follow me completely so you guys know where to go. And there you guys go. From here, you can talk to this guy and he'll teach you what you want about thunder breathing. And uh, yeah, thunder breathing is also very good. So I recommend you guys uh, go for that. However, it is the most expensive in the game. So I'm just take in mind of that, guys. So hopefully that helped you. Let's get into the last one and the final one, fire breathing. Okay, guys, so we are on the final breathing style fire breathing and this is arguably the hardest one to find because you got to do a little bit of parkour and everything so due to that i will not be making any cuts i will not be speeding this one up and uh pretty much just follow me so we're back at the beginner village and straight from the soup shop just follow me straight down here um like i said i will not be speeding this one up i will not be making any cuts either because this is a little bit difficult to find and i know that would be frustrating if i made any cuts so even if I mess up, um, I won't make any cuts so you guys can see like how to fix the mess up. But pretty much just like all the other ones, you pretty much just go down this uh, path. Except unlike the other ones, instead of taking a right, when we hit that sign, we're going to take a left and we're going to start climbing some mountains, boys. You guys will see what I mean in a second. Hopefully when we get there. So you guys can see right here, this sign right here. Instead of going right like we usually do we're gonna go left and we're gonna actually ignore that demon um so you want to jump up these rocks like so and then you want to start going left from here jump up these rocks continue going left pretty much jump up these rocks continue going left and now this is where you're gonna have to oh, let me pick up the trinket this is where you're gonna have to kind of wall climb get over there over here you want to get on top of these right here and then instead of going down here you want to go over here a lot of people make that mistake where they go over there instead so wall jump over here and then what you want to do is you want to go over here and you want to wall jump this oh my bad I'll jump that come over here and then you want to wall jump this and then pretty much after that this is the difficult part a little bit you want to wall jump this and after that a lot of people make the mistake of going in here you don't want to go in here you want to go straight over here You want to go down here 
pretty much go the same direction I'm going right now. Go up these rocks right here. Straight down here. And you run right directly into Rengoku. Now, to get Rengoku, I know you need 2,000 gold. You need 20 horns, 20 demon horns, and then you need to defeat a demon cave boss. The demon cave boss you actually need to defeat is right over here. Um, pretty much if you guys just want to know where he's at, just stop this video right here. But I'm going to show you guys how to get the demon that you need. Um, pretty much the area that we, what I said not to go to, that's where you're going to go now to get the uh, demon that you need. Right in this cave right here, the white underground. You're going to find a demon boss, which is right over here. This this demon boss right here. This is the one you have to kill um, in order to get fire breathing. I'm not going to fight him, but I just want to show you guys where to get him. So there you guys go. There's all the uh, breathing locations and requirements for them. Let's get into the next part of this beginner guide. Okay, guys. So the next aspect of the guide is pretty much how to level now there's a few different ways you can level um pretty much you gain xp every time you grip a demon and in case you guys didn't know how to grip a demon after you've killed a demon you press b on it and that's how you grip it and you gain xp that way another way is after you've became a slayer what you can do is you guys see you'll have these random crows that'll come up to you asking you to accept a mission now there's a couple different missions in this game there's one where you just hunt demons. There's there's one where you save a village from demons. There's one where you save a slayer that's been attacked by a demon. There's one where you de can defeat a green demon, which is like a, a special type of demon. And you guys can see right here. This one right here, I hunt demons. And that's the quest that I, uh, that popped up. And then there's a quest where you guys can deliver a, uh, uh, a letter. Now the deliver letter one, you get 800 gold for it. So that one's actually really good for gold farming, but all the rest of them are also pretty good for XP. And this is one way you guys can pretty much kind of farm XP and level up. Now, what I really recommend you do when it comes to levels is you kind of find an area and I will show you guys some areas in this video and how to get to them, but you want to find an area that has a high amount of demons and you want to get quests like these where you can just hunt the demons over and over and over again because just gripping demons like that will give you a lot of XP and that's one way you can, can level up actually really quick. All right guys, so one area for me that I found that has a good amount of demons, if you're in Okuya village, you want to go over here to the exit that has the Okuya plains and pretty much you just want to go out over here you want to go to the right side of it and then follow exactly where I'm going and we will run into a cave that is very rich in demons and my opinion or at least in my experience this has been pretty rich in demons you just want to follow this exact area And as you guys can see, there is actually a demon right here, right as I'm showing up. Now, this isn't like the best area, but I do notice that this one tends to have good amounts of demons in it. And not just that, it also has mine nodes, so you can also farm up on sunstones and uh, iron stones and whatever you need, really, here as well. So it's honestly a pretty preferable spot for both farming demons and getting iron stones, in my opinion. Demons respawn pretty frequently in here as well. So honestly, in my opinion, this is kind of where I farm quite a bit of time and pretty much just caves in general. If you find a cave, caves are really where demons spawn the most. I've noticed in my experience and not even just this cave, just caves in general. Um, that cave with the Rengoku that we had was also a good one as well for farming. So if you guys are already there, you might as well farm some demons there. And level up that way so honestly these is probably the most efficient ways to level up in my opinion you want to find a cave that has a lot of demons and you want to accept these these hunt demon quests right here that's a good way to level up in my opinion and uh yeah you guys should definitely do that 
Okay, guys, so now I'm going to get into the general tips of this guide. Uh, we've, probably, we've pretty much already gone over the, the, like the big stuff that a beginner needs to know, but now I'm just going to be throwing in small tips in there and show you guys how to do things that I think you guys should know. Starting out with wall jumping, uh, I personally struggled with this a lot, and I know a lot of people are struggling on how to learn it as well. Personally, it's pretty hard to grasp if you're not knowing how to do it correctly. So let's get into it. So most people are probably wall jumping like this. And as you guys can see, it's not really having much luck. And it's kind of understandably so, you know, if you're doing it like this, pretty much it's going to be really difficult. The thing you need to do is you need to run before you go into wall jumping and you need to move your camera accordingly to what wall you're trying to jump to. So basically, I'm just going to break it down here. So I'm going to jump on this wall first and I'm going to jump on this. And every time I'm doing it, I'm moving my camera at the wall I'm going to jump. And the starting, I, I find for me personally, running at the start really helps for me. And you just can see right here, I'm already wall jumping a lot better. And it's because of the camera movement. And with this, with the camera movement, um, pretty much I was able to get to any height really. Like I had no trouble getting to like really like high stuff to be honest um that i normally wouldn't have been able to if you guys were in my stream i was actually complaining about not being able to know wall jump so i thought i would show you guys how to do it here um for those of you that still do not know how to do it it's all in the camera movement okay guys so now i'm going to show you guys how to get to slayer core because a lot of new players were actually struggling with that as well so starting out in okuya village you guys just follow me real quick we are going to go to Okuya Village. All right, so now that we're here, now that we're at this part of Okuya Village, and it's pretty easy to find, uh, it's just the other exit. We're gonna go through Sakura Path and pretty much just follow exactly where I go. I'm gonna speed this part up because um, it's not really that hard to get to, but this is how you guys get to Slayer Core. So you guys can see the sign right here. Instead of going down there, like we did for the final selection, we're gonna go down this path right here. Okay guys, so once you get to Corpse Grove, which is this area right here, what you want to do is you want to go towards this Wisteria tree. Um, this is like kind of in the correct direction. You don't want to go like directly at it, but you want to go like towards it. And you want to jump up these rocks because this is the easiest uh, way to actually get up there. So I'm going to wall jump right here. I'm going to wall jump again. And then wall jump again on this rock. And then again over here. And pretty much after that, you just go down here. You guys can see the wisteria in the diff, in the distance. And right here, we have Slayer Core right here. Um, it is a little bit out of the way, and the game doesn't really tell you where to find it. So I can see why a lot of players would have trouble finding it. But here it is. And while we're here, I'm also going to show you guys how to sell your demon parts because a lot of players want to know where to sell your demon horns. So kind of like two birds and one stone. So once you get to Slayer Core, pretty much you just want to follow me. If I remember where the uh, merchant is at. And he's right here. This guy right here is a merchant that will buy up all of your demon horns, green demon horns, you know, demon parts in general. And you guys can see right here. Um, he'll buy the demon parts. I'm actually holding on to my horns for now, but this directly ties into the method I told you guys at the beginning. You farm the final selection for demon horns, you come to this guy, sell them, and easy money. All right, guys, pretty much wrapping up this video with a couple last tips I want to give you. Uh, try not to die, because if you die by a player, or if you die by a boss, or if you die by NPCs, um, Slayer NPCs, you actually lose. 25% of your gold 
It used to be 50%, but they just had an update today that made it to 25%. So I recommend not really farming too much gold unless you're getting to a higher level or unless you're pretty confident that you're not going to die. I mean, maybe I would recommend getting an alt to hold your gold on because I've died so many times where I had a lot of gold and it's just aggravating. The last tip I have for you guys in this video is that to watch out for some demons. Uh, some demons have demon art skills, meaning they will have something similar to breathing art skills. These demons are very strong and very hard to kill. As a new player, this really messed me up. Um, I recommend if you're a new player, just kind of stay away from these demons. They're unnecessarily hard to kill. Even for me, even though I have breathing skills, they take so long to kill. So I recommend you guys avoid these types of demons. So this is it for the video, guys. I pretty much covered everything that I think a beginner should know. Uh, let me know if I missed anything that you guys feel should be added in this video. But I feel like I did a pretty decent job of adding most of the important stuff. I will be adding a little bit more of an advanced guide later on on how to get the custom niche routines from this guy. It is a bit of a long process to try to get these. However, I will make a video on it as soon as possible so I can help you guys out there. Hopefully this guide helped you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these Demon Slayer videos or Demon Fall videos, my bad. And uh, yeah, I hope you, hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.